So, uh, I got bankroll first, right? That was awesome. Bankroll, I didn't have you first. Yeah, I have Chris first. Bankroll. I did that spot, yeah. Yeah, I got you right here. Here's your mic. So, after you finish performing, right? What's up, what's up, what's up, Chris? How you doing? What's up, man? I'm doing good. How you feeling? Yo, it's blessed. We finally got you in hand. Hey, I'm happy to be here, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate so, the Chris, opportunity. you right? All, all jokes aside, man, I just want to say uh, it's been crazy watching your growth. I watched you with my friend Blue. You guys got your own Hollow Art Entertainment show, mm -hmm. right? That's founded by... The Hollow Art. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. So, um, let's talk about what are you doing out here in the communities, along with your music as an artist. Um, well, Hollow Art is basically an uh, entertainment company started with me and my uh, my pops, right? my manager. Your pops is like yeah, dope, he, motivational yeah, nah, yeah. and everything. Yeah, man. Yeah. He, he runs it pretty yeah. much. Like, but, you know, we do we put on shows and stuff like that. We, um, you know, we put out songs. We were doing comedy skits, but we kind of stepped away right. a little bit. Uh, but, man, we just kind of going with the flow, man. Just, you know, working hard. I, I put in your bio that you're, you're, you're an iconic figure. I appreciate that, man. I and I you want you to know that? why I said that. <laughs> yeah. The reason why I said that is because you're not just an artist with just making music. You're not just a rapper. You're out here making a movement in a community where they need your upbringing. You know what I mean? You're giving people yeah. an opportunity, no matter what color they are, to showcase their platform. So I respect that. Yeah, absolutely, man. And you're doing the same thing, pretty yeah. much. Um, yeah, because like, you hear so much like uh, Carolina or Columbia be hating and, and right. nobody want to see nobody else shine. We love to see people shine, man. We want to see everybody shine. So we was like, you know, I'm a rapper, but I, when people come for the interview, I'm going to step back. Like, let right. everybody else do their thing because it's, it's, enough, it's enough room for everybody. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to, like, tear each other down. You know what I'm saying? It's, That's dope. Yeah. Yeah, I love to see it. So enough about everything else. Let's talk about you. Okay. So <laughs> how long have you been an artist or a rapper? What do you call yourself? Uh, I mean, yeah. uh, I guess rapper first. That's uh, tough. I've been rapping for like 10 years, man. I'm getting old. Like. <laughs> Yo, man. One thing I want to tell you is when I first saw you perform, I was shocked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, your style is just like, do you listen to a lot of old school music? Uh, out, Outcast. You know, I listen to a lot of old, like, southern hip hop. And, yeah, yeah. Not that you're lyrical. I don't want to say you're lyrical or anything yeah, like yeah. that. It's just your <laughs> swagging. It reminds me of like, a, you, you can fit in any era of hip hop, I feel like. Oh yeah, well yeah, I appreciate that. I, yeah. I think it's like a, a, a bridging the gap type of thing. Like right. The, the artists I listen to, like I said, Outkast, they was Tough. they was bridging the gap. You know what I'm right. saying? At the time, Kendrick Lamar, like, you know what I'm saying? Old school, new school. Er everybody can take something from it. You know? Yeah. How Which, did you get influenced with the Outkast? And is that your father helping you up with that absolutely, upbringing? Absolutely, man. Absolutely, yeah. man. My dad is is a big big help with that. Like, yeah. He put me on to that. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, sneaking in and stealing his CDs and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't want your dad. I don't want you getting trouble. You know your dad is here. Yeah, you know? nah, man, I'm grown now. <laughs> he said I'm grown now. <laughs> <laughs> but, That's love, man. That's love. Yeah, yeah, straight up. And, um, yeah, I just want something yeah. that like he can listen to, and also right. like my little cousins and them can listen to. So, yeah, yeah just trying to, you know, yeah. So with this, with your music, right? 
what is the process of getting in the studio or just writing your music? Because your music is very happy. When I, when I listen to you perform, I get excited. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't really think I have a process. Like, every song is kind of different. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I don't know. Particularly, my project um, that's out now, it's a web series. It's called Porchlight. It's eight episodes. It's a new song and a new uh, video. You know what I'm saying? And uh, with that, I was really just trying to capture, like, my childhood uh, growing up in South Carolina in the summertime. So that maybe that's where, like, the happy vibe comes from. But you said childhood in the summertime, like? Yeah. So where did you live in the wintertime? Like, the regular school year, like? It, well, I mean, I lived here, but oh. I'm just saying, like, yeah. that specific time was, gotcha. like, such a happy time. You know what I'm saying? Growing up in the South in mm-hmm. the summer, it was hot. Like, you outside all day with your yeah. friends. Like, I was just trying to trying to bring that energy. So, yeah. you know, when, when, when I do my performance and y'all hear them songs, that's kind of where that energy comes from. Where do you get your swagger from? You feel me? Like the black boots? The Man, look, I have no swag at all. <laughs> this is, this man, is Walmart, bro. Really? Like, yeah, I don't care about that. Like, I just be chilling, man. This is Walmart. Let, let's talk about that. <laughs> you say you don't care. Like, yeah. um, do you feel like as an artist, it's important to be yourself? Absolutely, man. This shit does not matter, bro. Like, wear what feels good to you. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about how much money you spend on whatever. Like, right. I'm happy. I'm comfortable. So if someone is watching that, right, and they feel like they need to wear, like, the new Gucci, the new Dior, just to be an artist or something. I mean, prioritize. Like, I can't tell nobody what not to do. You know, whatever's important to you, clothes are just not that important to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm warm. I'm good. (laughs) So what's the most number one thing you love about this music, like the feedback? Say you finish a project, right? Yeah. What is the first thing you care about? Do you care about what people are saying, like, oh, this this track is hot? Or you care about, yo, I'm getting the video, I'm going to get the pretty girls in the video? Like, <laughs> Nah, man. Um, I think, I think uh, I put a lot of, like, thought into my music. You know what I'm saying? So it's always cool when somebody can come to me and be like, oh, I like how you did this and it meant that. Like, you know what I'm oh, saying? That's when, tough. They, when they catch, like, like the, the lyrics and everything. Yeah, yeah, I love that, man. I'm like, bro, you was really listening. You know? That's tough. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't really like nobody just come to me and be like, yeah, you know, you're dope. Or right. Whatever. That's cool. I appreciate it, but it's really dope when somebody comes and, like, you say know, I listen. I've been, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Uh, yeah. I've yeah. always <laughs> thought that, like, I can't rap for nothing. Yeah. But I've always told myself, like, yo, I want to walk in front of a big crowd and and they stream my lyrics. I know that must be yeah. the best feeling ever. I I haven't felt it completely. One day yet, though. One day, day though. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait, man. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's gonna be dope. Or even just like a, uh, seeing the kids, man. Like I I do this for kids. Like kids watching this. You That's know what tough. I'm saying? Like I want the kids to 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 be inspired. You know what I'm saying? To do something to be better than me, kind of. You know right. what I'm saying? So that's that's what motivates. Me. Speaking of that, so what motivates you? Like, is it your dad or is it your family or is it just like yo? I just I gotta keep going because I love it. My passion. Like it's like if I stop, I'm feel like I'm not doing anything. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, not to get too deep, but like I just no. Like let's get I, deep. Let's talk yeah, about it, bro. I do it for the kids, man. Right. Like I, I was never like the cool kid. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was like the the lame dude with the headphones on, like escaping. You know what I'm saying? Right. By, you know whatever the fuck. And so I make music for that kid. Like when you say escaping, where are you escaping? Escape just you know bullies and stuff like that. You right. Know what I'm saying like. Yeah, there's a kid on the bus. I want a kid to be on the bus listening to my music. Like, right. you know, I could do this. Like, and just motivate him, get him through the day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get him through whatever he going through at home or anything. I love the fact that you're saying that. So basically, you have a purpose with your music. Yeah. And that's why I was saying to get it out. I was trying to get out of you. Yeah. A lot of times, people don't have a purpose of what they're doing. So they're just right. doing it for all over the place. Yeah. You but you got to have a why, you feel me? Yeah, you can get lost, man. You can really yeah. get lost. So I got I mean, I got a point A and a point B. All right. You know what I'm saying? So, so before, it's 2021, right? Mm-hmm. The pandemic was crazy. Well, it's the last eight months. Yeah, yeah. What is that major thing you got to accomplish for yourself, a personal goal? Not comp- compete with no one else, but for, your, for yourself for this 2021. Like, you just got to make it happen. Bro, I, I need to. Dro- I want to drop an album. I, I'm going to drop an album. Do it. An uh, album, bro. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I love albums, man. Yeah. I don't like. I mean, you know what I'm saying. If you if you put out songs and and your album is like a compilation of songs, that's cool. But I like albums. Like I right. said, I grew up on Outkast, Stank Only. You like you can listen from start to finish that's and tough. not skip nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I'm trying to make people like escape to like a world and and just you know what I'm saying come into my world a little bit. So this is my last question before we go into your performance. Yes, sir. As an artist, right, do you feel like it's more important to push a single or an or, or the whole album or songs? Because I've noticed lately that people who push one single for like a whole year, mm-hmm. sometimes that breaks out before that 
those 12 other songs you're trying to push at one point to right. everybody's ears? I uh, I guess it just depends, man. Mm-hmm. Like, I, there's no, like, one size fits all. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? It's something different for everybody. If you I like a, that. Yeah, if you're a single uh, type of artist. Yeah. Excuse me, then, you know, push your single. If you... Yeah. If you like me and you want to like tell like a story and all that weird do all your shit, music? Yeah, yeah, do that, man. Like, but do whatever, do whatever feels right to you, man. Unless like somebody that. tell you who to be, you know. That's, Yo, that's, Chris, that's the, yeah. I like what you just said. Say that one more time. Don't ever let nobody tell you who you are or who to be. Yeah, be you, man. You are already different. Like, you don't have to try to be different. You just be you. Chris, so, yeah. let them know where they can find you at. Eh? Hollow Art, man. All my stuff is on Hollow Art. I'm, you know, yeah. <laughs> Chris Mohead uh, on all social media. Uh, Hollow Art on all social media. My stuff is on YouTube, Hollow Art, H-Y-L-O-A-R-T. Uh, yeah, appreciate the opportunity, bro. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. Air it out. You want to air it out or quick first? Let's do air it out. Let's get it. Yeah. Let's go, Chris. Turn me yeah. up. Yeah. Okay, I hopped off the porch as a kid, then I hopped the fist, looking for a bitch to make love to with my fingertips. Uh. Outside, trying to run the click, but I ran too Let's quick. Go. Pride in the way I slip, tripped, and I chipped my Woo. shit. Hopped off the porch with a noose on my neck. Let's I get a stoop kid left, you would get some respect. And niggas slept on me hard, but they didn't know yet. Until I crept in their bed, you missed that from their chest. And now I flex, break my bedroom slippers off in their ass. So yeah. professional and professor, bitch, don't talk in my class. I'm the host and the coach, calling place from the boat. I know it's cold to see this coat, it's not been doing the most, for sure. I've been on the coach in my house, shoe shout uh-huh. Outside, we don't follow house rules, shout Let's go. Got my 40 ounce in my house, shoe shout it. Woo. Call the weed, man, we'll be out soon, shout it. Look, uh. puffin' green steam till I'm ugly. Whoa. Sip my green tea while they mug me. Yeah. I know that they hatin' cause they love me. Even if they hate me, bitch, it's lovely. But how you mad when you stuck on the porch like me? Might as well slide by and take a shot of the drink. Put some clouds in the sky as the time flies by. But see, we can't because niggas want to hate. Niggas, niggas want to play. Niggas, niggas want to fade. Niggas, niggas want to kill. Niggas, I'm trying to deal with you. Turn the city in to a haven for the children. But still, nigga, I've been no good. In my house, you shout it. Outside, we don't follow house rules. Shout it. Got my 40 ounce in my house, you shout it. Till I'm ugly. Sip my green tea while they mug me. Say what? Yeah, I know that they hating cause they love me. Yeah, even if they hate me, bitches love me. Ooh. I got my niggas to the left, to the left of me. I got Whoa. my niggas to the right, ain't no stress in me. I got some haters in the back, they get left, my G. I keep the sun in my face. That's the recipe. I said my niggas to the left, to the left of me. I got my niggas to the right. Ain't no stress in me. I got some haters in the back. They get left, my G. I keep the sun in my face. That's the recipe. You. House shoes. Porch light. All streaming services. Hollow art. That was tough. That was tough. Let's get it. Uh huh. DJ JB. Let's go, Chris. Turn me up. Let's go. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nigga smile in your face. Hold up. Hold up. Where we at? Hold on, let's run it back real quick. Yeah, yeah. DJ JB. Unexpected. Uh-huh. What's up? Uh-huh. Yeah. Nigga smile in your face, but wait till they get behind. Careful who you call broke, they not really down. Careful where you walk, all these snakes on the ground. I ain't tripping, no, cause I can't see them when I drive. I just need a Cadillac from 1995. Uh-huh. I just need a Buick like from 1992. Cause I stay out on the move, everybody can't ride. That's why I keep my circle small enough to fit inside. I don't really trust most, closer than a stone's throw. I be all alone, drove, steaming like a tugboat. Yeah, yeah. I am not a thug, though. The kids know they love trick. Daddy cop a snub, no. Just in case my rival coming at me. Do you really think you quick enough? Yeah. Do you really think you quick enough? Nah. Do you really think you quick enough? Yeah. Do you really think you quick, quick? Do you really think you quick enough? Yeah. Do you really think you quick enough? Yeah, do you really check me out? Uh, yeah, smoking asthmatic. Hit the gas, fuck a break, come and cash me. In your face, do the race, 
an athlete, culture in class like Rams on the ash. Then I drove in my flip flop to the rent, nigga, out stuntin' at the pit stop. Next to a nigga selling CDs and some loud out his trunk like an elephant. I'm talking reckless because I'm drunk. Please don't ask for my opinion, and I'll give you what you want. Bought his CD, it was shit, so I skipped it mighty quick. Mighty Morphin Music Maker, make a cripple do a flip. Making Nathan just believe that there's a reason to exist. These are things that I will do. And I'll do again. Wait, nigga, do you think you quicker? Enough to catch a nigga for I fuck your older sister. Really talking crazy when I'm off that white liquor. That's all I got. <laughs> that was tough. Yeah, really think you quick enough? Yeah, do you really think you quick enough? Nah, do you really think you quick enough? Yeah, do tough. you really? Hollow Art, Chris Mohead. Chris Mohead just shut it down. Let's get Shout it. Shout out DJ JB. My name is Unique Edwards and I am the CEO, head trainer, as well as the personal trainer who personalizes everything towards you of Unique for Fitness. In the last 11 years, I have been fortunate enough to train people from the ages of 6 years old to 89 years old. I've trained people with MS. I've trained people with cerebral palsy regardless of what your ailment is i have been able to effectively train you if you are not looking to lose weight add muscle or just function properly and function pain-free please call me at 864-275-6128 and during the pandemic i am following all protocols that means that every time you come in i will be testing your temperature i will be wearing a mask and i will be making sure that we are staying separated while i give you the best exercise that you can think of Let's get it, man. Our, your story is very interesting, man. I met you literally two months ago. Yeah. And uh, I want to say you're like a hustler, you feel me? I didn't know you was an artist, you feel me? Yeah. When I say two months ago, you probably think I'm talking about the showcase. Nah, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That's wh where you get your little, like, this, this little big hustle mindset at such a young age? Being broke. Do you want them to know how old you are? Yeah, I'm 16. 16 years old. Hell yeah. But shit, being broke, when you when you go through shit and you see other people having shit, you be like, damn. And you can't really hate. That shit ain't gonna get you nowhere. So you gotta you gotta do something. Like I just started turning up probably about two years ago. You gotta do something. You gotta get So you say you started turning up two years ago, right? Yeah. What, let's talk about that. What made you just turn it up? Cause a lot of people don't when really turn it up at 16 years old, they wait until like they're 20 to turn it up. Now me, see like, I got a different motivation. Like I see other people doing this. I see other people got this. You just be like, damn. I can do that too. Yeah, especially like with that <laughs> rapping shit. Like yeah. I feel like all that shit play a part. Like I could have been started, but when I started, mm -hmm. I just kept going up with it. I just kept going up with it. You see one person with this, you want to do that shit too. Right. Yeah, like, you can't hate on this, man. You just got to get that shit yourself. So where do you get this Bankroll Jew name from? Let's let's talk about that. Who gave you that name? Or you gave it to yourself? Like, yo, I'm going to stand on this. Nah, I was just like, for real, I might stop playing. I text my old homeboys. Yeah. I used to be cool. I'm like, I might stop playing. I might start rapping. I need a name. I went through a couple names. And I was just like, fuck it. I'm ready to start now. So we just <laughs> hurry up, got that name, yeah. did that shit. Your one thing I would say, man, you've been killing it with these showcases. Like... Every time I see you perform, you're performing with more energy. I think the last time I saw you, I thought you was Tarzan. You took your shirt off. You was going oh, crazy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I be taking my shirt off. Yeah. For shit. How are you getting better at each performance so fast? And it's only been two months that I've met you. And it's the last three times I saw you perform, you got better. Really, I just be like, like I said, like just learning from people instead of being like, damn, how the fuck they turning up to him, but they ain't do that for me. Yeah. Just learning from him. So <laughs> if he doing this, yeah. 
if I do something similar to that and not copy him, like, yeah, that shit is So basically, you're doing your homework. You're like, yo. Yeah, I'm, you got to learn. I'm trying to be the best. Too. Yeah, you got to learn. Like, you can't just be doing the same shit and then wanting people to fuck with you how they fuck with next person yeah. or wanting to go up like that. Yeah. So we in South Carolina, right? Yep. What's going to make you stand out from every other South Carolina artist out here? Shit, really? Really, right now, I feel like it's just like age, how I carry myself. Like my hair and shit, yeah. that's a big part. But how I carry myself and shit too. Like every, no, I'm not like no other 16 year old. Yeah. Like motherfuckers don't even be known on 16. But I let it be known because yeah. it sounds good, like to a label or some but shit. But to you, it don't really matter. It's like, yo, I'm supposed to be doing this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to be on the grind. That's what I, yeah, that's how I feel. I like yeah. that shit. I like being young. Yo, so you're running around with a, a, a successful team right now. When I say successful, is every day you're making something happen. Hell yeah. And I see he, it. What, are they doing for you? Like, are they helping you? Like, expanding your brand? Are they pushing you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, especially like with more shows and shit like that. And Wait, like, hold, on, hold on. Say who they are. I didn't want to say myself. Oh yeah, Cut the <laughs> Music Group. Yeah, Cut the right. Music shit Group. Them. That's but, good. Oh yeah, really? Like, yeah, I got That's that shit them. That's fine. But, yeah, they helped me. Like, I was already an artist. I'm already moving and shit with the videos and right. shit. But it's giving you that more professional look yeah. or like that extra push that you need. You yep. could do it by your like people. You could do it by yourself. But it's like, team. why? Yeah, like, yeah. when well, you can get the help and do it quicker. And yeah. then everybody get on it. Everybody get, like, they cuts and shit. One thing I respect about you, man, is a lot of times when you're 16 years old, you think you know it all. You feel me? It's good yeah. that you have the mindset, like, I need a team. And with that being said, for yourself, what is your personal goals that you're trying to knock out soon that's coming up in, within the next couple of weeks? I'm glad you asked that shit. Really? Oh, next couple of weeks I'm dropping an uh, EP. Yes, sir. I just want, but for real though, I just want respect, like from my city. That's what's I'm up. from Walterboro. I just want respect from my city, like yeah. I want the whole city. You, I don't want to blow up first and then have my city grabbing. I want my whole city fucking with me. So Walterboro, right? Yeah, Walterboro. If you're looking at this and you know. Bank Road Drew, show him some love. Don't yeah, hate. Like, yeah, I ain't no no hating shit. I don't ain't no let, celebrity don't shit. Don't let these like, other cities jump on the bad wagon. You support exactly. him. That's your family. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. Y'all book me and shit. He ain't different than y'all. He ain't gonna think he better than y'all. Support. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's 2021. You know what I mean? Thanks. I love my city too. I fuck with that city. Let's it get just, it. All love. All love. Yeah. So, another thing I want to talk about. You say your mixtape is dropping next week, right? Yeah, it's dropping February 5th. Bro, baby, dropping February 5th. That's I got tough. a couple previews on my page, too. Y'all go check that out. I got videos dropping, all that. Videos, too? All that's happening next week? All that shit happening. Oh, nah. All see, I ain't shit. know the video coming now. Y'all got to put that out there. Video, videos coming, too. Everything. Tell you. Everything. That shit hard, too. Man, congratulations. Tell you. That's a, that's a major accomplishment, to know that your mixtape is it's already done and everything. Yeah, that shit done. That's what I wanted to do. Like, I wanted to get more consistent 2021, so right. like, by dropping the EP... And I'm not even done with that. Like, I'm not done with February after I drop the EP. I'm going to drop a video on my birthday, February 19th. I'm going to yeah. drop a video with a song. Got a feature on that, too. Y'all yeah. going to fuck with it. So, I got to ask you one specific question. What's up? How do you feel about features? It depends. Like, it depends. Like, what you, what you mean? Remember, I feel like features. Do you feel like when you get somebody to feature in your song, do you feel like it's got to be competitive? Like, yo, they just killed that bar right there. I got I to gotta go back and do my, free, my freestyle over or my, my bars over. It really depends. Like, yeah. if you're doing, like, somebody that's on the same level as you, yeah. then y'all should just, like, put y'all all into it. The reason people don't be doing features now because they might want to be like, oh, he featured him on the song. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they don't want to look bad. Yeah. But if you do a feature and you do a back and forth, then, yeah, both of y'all snap. Yeah. But with features, like, with somebody bigger than you, yeah. you just got to snap hungry. on your part. Yeah. yeah. And then when you like... send that verse and you get it back, yeah. you're going you gonna to be like, damn. I fuck with that shit. Then you know it's gonna do numbers because so and so got a name. Yeah. Yeah, that shit gonna be I like crazy. that. So since we're in South Carolina, yeah. if you had to do a feature with three artists out here in South Carolina, can you name who they are? Yeah, um, let me think. I'm gonna go with Count Up with the K. Yes, sir. Something. Yeah, something to remember. Oh uh, shit. Damn, damn, damn. I don't really be on them like that. Shit, I'm gonna go with um I got to go with my dog, Kizo. Kizo. We got to do some shit soon. We probably get some shit soon. Got one more, man. One more. One more. One Yo, more, listen, one if more. he don't pick y'all, don't be upset. Be like, nah, oh, I I fuck, nah, I <laughs> fuck with like, the artist, but I'm trying to look like, I'm trying to think like yeah. some shit like, shit, for real, I don't really know right now. 
Oh, Yo, no. Let me let me help let me help you. Let me see if you're right out. Help me out. Give me an option. He wanna do a feature with everybody in South Carolina. If everybody. you got good music, everybody. You heard? Everybody. Everybody. Song. everybody. So Binko, I wanna say thank you for stopping through. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited you to get to your music. Too. Is there yeah. anything you want somebody to know out there that's coming from a small city as Waterboro? How can they make it out of a small city? Even though you're still on a journey of making it out. Shit. Get out that city. Probably get out that city. Gotta move on, get out that city. Let's talk about work ethic. How can they grind every day to make that one go grow? Because you're growing. You don't probably see it, but I see it from the outside. You got to just keep going. You can't, like, you can't feel like, I could say I got, like, a little local popularity and shit. Like, I got to yeah. go somewhere people know you. But you can't really be satisfied by that shit. Like, yeah. I've been in Atlanta last week, and it's just like, I got this little ass chain on. Then you got niggas that don't even rap, got diamonds on their shit, because they some scammers or some shit. But they right. look like somebody, like... I go to a club in Columbia, and you can tell I'm performing, but I go to Atlanta, it'll look like I'm watching or some shit. Yeah, like, I'm coming. I like that. So that, that's kind of like motivation right there. Like, yo. Yeah, that's, that shit. Yeah, that shit crazy. That that's shit tough. With me. But they say sometimes you got to travel just to get motivated and inspired and stuff like that. Yeah. You can't just stay in one area, because then you just get comfortable. Yeah, that shit to show you something. That shit to show you something, for real. So I want you, when I, before I walk off right now, while I walk off, I want you to let them know where they can follow you at, and let them know what's coming out next week, Thursday, right? Or Friday? Thursday. That shit drop on Friday at midnight, bro. Baby, drop on Friday on midnight, February fifth. Y'all follow me on Instagram at bankrollju underscore. Shout out everybody that was on my Instagram on my Snap. I couldn't shout everybody out, but y'all know who y'all is. Yeah, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get, let's it. get, let's it. get it. You, right you want stick or serve first? You play stick first. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, oh, oh, back in my shit. Yeah. Make sure that's Hey. Yeah, Carol, double L, nigga. Bankroll Joe, I'm on my bankroll Damn, yeah. you made Slapping and rapping, I really be trapping. Stop by the cab, you niggas be acting. My pull up with choppers that shoot automatic. You niggas ain't gaming, you niggas be fat. Don't give a fuck, I ain't sending no diss. I feel like mad and I'm sending a blitz. Now I'm up in the skull, now I'm hiding this bitch. I don't fuck no dice, but I ride with my stick. Slapping and rapping, I really be trapping. Stop by the cab, you niggas be acting. My pull up with choppers that shoot automatic. You niggas ain't gaming, you niggas be fat. Don't give a fuck, I ain't sending no diss. I feel like mad and I'm sending a blitz. Now I'm up in the skull, now I'm hiding this Bitch, I don't fuck with no dice, but I ride with my stick. Whoa. I see it off, I'ma handle the business. Fuck it, bro, day, I'ma clear out the witness. Drop a location, my nigga get busy. Push up on the out like we were playing the fitness. Uh -huh. I send my shooter to pay you a visit. Don't give a fuck, I'ma pay him the ticket. And he don't go, he don't trip over digits. He Whoa. itching to kill, cause my Whoa. niggas be with me. He go. itching to kill like he popped in the bean. Got shooters with me like it's clay on the team. My new Smith and Wesson, they came with a beam. And we post on the block like we Shaq and Kareem. I don't give a fuck when I'm off of the lean. We shooting shit up like we was Marine. And when I come through, I leave blood on the scene. And these bitches gon' fuck, cause I'm only Whoa. 16. Rapping and rapping, I really be trapping. Stop by that cap, you niggas be adding my pull up with choppers that shoot automatic. You niggas ain't game, man, you niggas be fake. Don't give a fuck, I ain't sending no diss. I feel like mad and I'm sending a blitz. Now I'm up in the skull, now I'm hiding this bitch. I don't fuck with no dice, but I ride with my stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snapping and rapping, I really be trapping. Stop by that cap, you niggas be adding my pull up with choppers that shoot automatic. You niggas ain't game, man, you niggas be fake. Don't give a fuck, I ain't sending no diss. I feel like mad and I'm sending a blitz. Now I'm up in the skull, now I'm hiding this bitch. I don't fuck with no dice, but I ride with my stick. Whoa. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it, bro. Baby on the field, let's go. Hey. Let's go. Hold on. So you got some new track, you said? You got a new, you say you got a new track? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, baby coming on the field, y'all boys fuck with it. Get ready, get let's ready. Let's go. I want to hear this new track. This is my first time hearing it. Bro, let's go. Let's go. Hey. Uh, skirt, skirt. I put down the ball and I started trapping. Uh, I told my little brother, I'm gonna make it happen. Hey. Ben Carr, double L, nigga. Let's go. I put down the ball and then I started trapping. I told my little brothers I'm gonna make it happen. Play with my craft and then I started rapping. They thought I couldn't do it. I seen all the left, seen all the left, and I seen all the acting. They fake fucking with me. I see all the capping. No talking, just rapping and up and blasting. These niggas be wet, nigga. Fuck it, just trash me. For my little baby, then I gotta go. I can't lay up with you. Got a jig at the stove. Confidence crazy. I know I'ma blow. If you wanna book me, I need one can't show. Five at the front and then five at the door. If you ain't got the bag and then I gotta go. Gotta go to the yo. Probably fuck on the hoe, but she can't do no talking. Keep that on the low. Bitches gon' fuck just cause I. I got a name, I ain't saying I'm rich, I ain't say I got fame. I really lit, I can't play with no lanes. I'ma shoot like 2K, but I ain't with the games. Glide like a blazer, my shit spit out flame. I ain't killing, but you can get killed by the name. Ain't picture pain, but niggas be frank. You can't do what I do, cause bro, we not the same. Wanna be me, gotta put in the worst. Swear to God, I was broke with my little brother's shirt. Niggas be pussy like they got a skirt. Treat a nigga like grass with his ass in the dirt. Boy, I'm too good to be playing with niggas. I just drop a bag and they get his ass hurt. Laying the wood, can't be playing with bitches. Just you trying to fuck, I ain't got time to flirt. This just a start, 
know I come from the low. All the boys in the borough say I'm about to blow. Do for my nieces, guys. I ain't got more. All these niggas gon' hate, but you know how that go. But you know I won't start just the poppy. You wanna book me, then you gotta just send a deposit. I need me one K for the profit. If you ain't got that, then don't text me, little nigga. Just stop. Travel through our spark burn. No, you heard I'm that nigga. If not, then it's fuck what you heard. I used to play with the birds. What you need? Cause we got it, little nigga. Just send me the word. Just send me the word. Cause we got it, little nigga. You know how we go. We will post on the curb. I made the play for the profit. Then I gotta go hit the holler. Now I gotta swerve. Hey. BNK double L, man. Y'all fuck me on Instagram. Bankroll2 underscore barrel. Baby drop on the field. Cut deep shit. Bankroll shit, man. Y'all fuck with me, man. That's tough right there. I like that. Next week, that drop. Let's go. Are you looking to do a live stream? Key of E, sound and production is the place for you. With 1080 HD recording to social media, personal in-ear monitors, professional lighting, we provide drums and all the latest keyboards. We do private streaming for couples, anniversaries, virtual parties, interviews, and more. So the next time you want to stream, come stream right with Key of E Sound and Productions. Yo, yo, fuck yo. nigga Herb in the building. Yes, sir. F and Herb, let's go. What's good, man? What's poppin'? How you been, my dog? Yo, finally good to get you in here, man. <laughs> been trying to catch up with you for about a month? Shit, probably about like three or four. We've been a three little, it's been yeah, a little while, yeah. Yo, so, I don't know where to start. Like, is it music you're doing? <laughs> and then it's social media, and then it's like, you got a crazy life going on right now. Man, it's like, I'm trying to do all between, like. Yeah. School? Yeah, school. Everything. Whole being a father, like the whole nine yards, like nigga just been putting in work. So yeah, got I've been making music since I was like mm, coming into my freshman year in college. I was making music. I wasn't putting nothing out. That's tough. Just laying shit down, like, trying to listen to my ear, trying to find my sound. So you stayed down for a long time. Stayed down for a long time. So you said when you was a freshman, where do you now? Senior? Junior? Yeah, I'm a senior now. For four years you've been putting four, that work in. Four years that's, that's undercover, tough. not even knowing. And I will honestly say I started seeing you break out. Throughout the pandemic time, mm-hmm. so did the pandemic wake you up? And be like, yo, I need to go hard with this music. Like, I, I just, I just say I stuck out. You stuck out. Yeah, like when so, you, when you, when you so consistent, you keep doing something, keep doing something. People just steady watching and steady watching. They can't be like, damn, right? Just nigga out here doing it. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They can't help but notice. You know what I'm saying? I just been you know, tr- trying to apply that much pressure to the point where they can't help but notice me. And right yeah. now. I'm just like at a at a comfortable position where I'm just chilling. Like I'm just trying to find new ways to brand myself, find mm-hmm. new ways to make new money. Like yeah, a whole new man. I see you. Like I see you. Um, you shot a video with my boy Below. Yeah, Below man. He yeah. shot he shot both of my videos. We got another one coming up. We got to shoot some more scenes for. Yeah. It was like four o'clock in the morning. We trying to do overtime. Yeah, I, I, but, man, I see everything. I saw. It. I was like, wow, four or five o'clock in the morning. Man, we we trying to get that work in, but That's tough. we supposed to be shooting that like two or three weeks in ATL. We trying to um get a little Airbnb. Yeah, get some models down. You know how that go. That's tough. Uh, where do you get this 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 hard this hustle from right now this grind right now like where's it coming from? Um, I say it started in high school really like coming in I was playing football and then right after that like after football it was like now I'm trapping like right after that I'm making plays in high school I'm yeah. over here selling in the cafeteria yeah. like you know what I'm saying I'm 16 17 years old facts moving to work like, I yeah. was one of the first niggas at my school in my age group at that time with a car so I'm like. I'm the plug, yeah. and then I'm like the nigga on wheel. So like I'm, I'm moving. I'm I'm not even in Orangeburg all the yeah. time. Yeah. And I'm 15, 16 years old. So you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't seen the game. I didn't seen the streets. I didn't seen everything on all different type of level. Now right. I'm just like trying to maintain, stay out of these niggas' way. I like that. Okay. Uh, when you say maintain, stay out of these niggas' way, is that why you came to college? Oh yeah, that's for tough. sure. Like, really, football was my only route. So when I ain't had football, you know what I'm saying? I lost some scholarship with Savannah State. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? South Carolina State, the school I'm at now. Yeah. Them boys ain't giving no scholarship, you right. know what I'm saying? It was like, you got to goddamn try out, and I, yeah. was, I went with that. So once goddamn education came number one, I was like, damn, this my way. Like I was like, all right, this is what it is. If I got to cheat, I got to do I got to do what I got to do to get out. I like that. Uh, a lot of people don't think sometimes education is, is possible. Mm-hmm. And uh, for you to manage being a father, you said, mm-hmm. education and trying to do your music thing. And you're actually out here not just trying, you're doing it. You're making yeah, videos. You're doing it. You're networking. 
Uh, but one thing I want to bring up, man, on social media, man, uh-huh. you are going viral for not the right, not good things. Yeah, I know, bro. <laughs> yeah, it, it just seem like yo. I look at a lot of things. I pay attention. I might not hit you up, but I look at a lot yeah, of things. I know, I know you see it. And uh, I ain't gonna put your business out there and everything like. But like, <laughs> uh, I don't know how to get around this. Are you trying to stay away from that? Because you, you know, um, what I mean? it's not easy trying to be successful and getting drama. I mean, it's, it's 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 hard at the same time. It's like. This what you sign up for, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. As a when you once you become a rapper, it's like bro. When I became a rapper, right, I had 12 knocking on my door. The first video, yeah, like the first video, just we ain't even not dropped the video on YouTube yet. Yeah, had a preview on Instagram. Shit got like a thousand views. They knocking on my door, like yeah, um, we got we got you for racketeering. Like we trying to we got we need you to come to the station. Um, uh, talk to us about some um. Uh, Talk to us about some guns that was placed in the video. They yeah. they count the gun. They like yeah, we got 13, 14 guns in the video. They like oh yeah, where they at? <laughs> so I'm like, what these boys on thinking I'm about to yeah. goddamn snitch? Like, yeah, they're smart enough yeah, not to talk. Like, yeah. yeah, so I'm telling them I don't know what's going on. They talking about niggas you hang around. Goddamn, we 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 thinking you supplying all the money because I'm the, I'm the, I'm the richest one out the group. I'm the one that got yeah. you know what I'm saying. Getting to, get to the yeah. money, so you know what I'm saying. They think I'm supplying the guns. Yeah, I'm I got I'm the whole rundown operation of things getting broken into on mm-hmm. campus, outside of campus, like. Yeah. It was just a whole nine yards, so I just tried to lay low. I I, I stopped doing features. I ain't gonna cut. I had right. to, you yeah. know what I'm saying. But I still show love to a few of my brothers out there, like Block Rich, uh, Lil Riley, Block Rich. Yeah, Block Rich. I had Block Rich on the show. Yeah, I know. That's my boy. And we got he, a few songs together, talk. like two or three. So, so you had you had the same circle. Uh huh. I got a lot of people in the circle that you, you just don't even know about. Yeah. Um, let's talk about that. Your circle. So the your circle when you walk with Chimri, do they support you the same way you support them? Um that's important. I'll say since I started and then I started like putting out music eight months ago, which is in May twenty twenty. Right. And so um I only had two producers. Yeah. I had my homeboy Golden Boy, he got down was making my music, and then my homeboy Draco. Draco. Now Draco was the person that got down, got me to lay out my music, got me to got down, rap on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he actually really producing, producing. Uh-huh. Like yo, you producer, need to rap this way, yeah. hook like this. Yeah. So he had That's beats tough. and he was producing. And my yeah. boy Tank, he was just giving me beats. Yeah. So. A lot of people don't know the difference between a producer and a a, a beat mm-hmm. maker. Like you know what I mean? That's tough. So yeah. So he was able to do both. So he, I'm learning. We 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 all all three of us we in together. Right. So after a while, I'm starting putting out music. I put out my first tape. You know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. put my first tape without. Within like two months, right? Probably less than that. Yeah, and that's, and that's like seven, eight songs on one take. That's a fact. That's what I was saying. You started buzzing around like yeah. that when COVID was kind of like dying mm-hmm. down. I'm like, yo, who the heck is this dude? Like, you know what I mean? Because a uh, couple of girls, a couple of dudes I knew, they was in the videos and everything, and shooting you. And uh, let's talk about this. What is your major platform goal? Because I do feel like you need to get out in South Carolina more mm-hmm. and out of South Carolina. What and is I, your goal with that? How are you gonna do that? I think I'm already known, but I just got to tune it up some more. Like, I got to go outside my norm. Like, yep. how how I brand myself on Apple Music, YouTube, and Instagram, Snapchat. I need Back. to go more into Facebook. Yeah. I need to go more into Tittle. Yep. I need to go more into, just, you know what I'm saying, deeper into Spotify, because Spotify is where it's at. Right. Um, I'm trying to avoid SoundCloud, because they got some thing going on. Like, you post your music, and it becomes there. And I ain't with oh, that. snap. Yeah. So let me ask you a quick question. Do you have a team? I hear, I hear you keep saying yeah. I, 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 but yeah. do you have a team that's got, helping you? I got a full team. I yeah. got five producers right now. Yeah. I got Draco, Golden Boy, I got my boy Trav, me going to be Lonnie, and then I'm working on another uh, homeboy. When I say we team, right? Yeah. I meant like someone's like, yo, you need to drop a mixtape this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, you need to drop a video. You can't just keep doing mixtapes. Oh, no, it's video. been it's been them. Like I got it's, oh, it's, been, it's been them from the jump. They, that's they, good. They, they got me in the right direction. They know I'm going to do the rest. Right. You gotta have a team, man. You gotta have a team. Uh, so, how do your family support your music and everything? Um, I honestly say they support, but they don't listen. Mm. They support, but they don't listen. So you feel like it's on you to make them listen? I don't think it's on me. I think it's it's, it's on them. It's, it's it's on them getting past the lifestyle that I live. Right. You know what I'm saying? Me being that I'm a I'm a whole different clock set from them. Mm-hmm. Like I live in I live in I'm, I'm from Orangeburg, South Carolina. So right. you know what I'm saying? The streets, like I, that's was all I know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So being that they they understand that they can they can love and cherish that. You know what I'm saying? They and they can support that. But you know, as far as like digging into, I want to know everything he doing. Right. Nah, they ain't they ain't with that. Mm. I understand. Uh, so any new projects you got coming out? Um, I just dropped a project. Um, which is called Deceived Child. So I just dropped a whole oh, album, the actual track. Yeah, a whole a whole twelve song playlist. It's on all social media platforms, YouTube. And it's called Deceived Child? Deceived Child. 
That's tough. And the and the and the cover out gonna pick gonna stick out to you. It's yellow. You know what I'm saying? It's when you say you just out. dropped it, when you dropped it? Uh, I'll say January first. January first, you dropped that. January first. The first. Bro, you need to push that on social media more. Yeah, I didn't I know. even know you dropped it recently. Yeah, I know because I I've yeah. I, I been mean, I've been dealing with some stuff outside yeah. of it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I've been trying to get back to it, but right now I'm streaming like 4K just on Apple Music. But I'm That's trying good. to stream more. Yeah, you got the ears then. I'm trying to get that, yeah. So, what is a major accomplishment for this 2021 to, that's coming now? Because you already start off the year with an album that's big. Mm-hmm. So, are you trying to do more videos? Like you said, um, yeah, I'm I'm, foc- I'm focused on a lot more videos. I'm trying to work with my boy Jay Smooth 803. Um, Smooth. He's a young boy from out of Orangeburg, South Carolina. You do too. videos too? Yeah, he been doing videos. Uh, he hot. I see you keep saying about Orangeburg. So, you trying to basically come up with the yeah, whole yeah, the, team? The whole team. Cause that's it's like, smart. Man, Orangeburg got so much talent, and I done, I done, I done been in every hood. Every every gang, every you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I'm knowing who who's who and who can do what. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So I'm trying to work with them in every way, fashion, and form. I don't give a fuck about no beef. I don't give a fuck about you know what I'm saying. No flag. You know what I'm saying. Like yeah. at the end of the day, we all trying to get money. Right. You trying to get money. I'm trying to get money. Let's work. Right. And that's all it is. I like that. Um. So let's talk about your fatherhood. Mm-hmm. How long have you been a father? Uh, three years. When I was 18. Three years. Yeah. Do you feel like it changed your life in a way? Or you felt like it just got to keep rolling. Like, (laughs) Like, when it hit me, I was just like, fuck, like, get right. After that, it was just taking off. I was like, how how I'm going to get money? Yeah. That that became my number one thing, how I'm going to get money. Because goddamn, teach me how to get money. Taught me how to be consistent with music. Because you got to have that money to goddamn keep making music. Yeah. Yo, we got F and Herb in the building, man. And uh, it's great to see how he just keep pushing through no matter what's throwing him in life. Uh. Anything you want to say to someone that's coming from a small town like Orangeburg? Mm, you just gotta, man. You gotta make them notice you, make them respect you, make them just keep putting your foot on their neck. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, this shit gonna make you or it's gonna break you. So just keep striving. Where can they find you at on social media? Um, find me on fn herb on Instagram. Find me at fn herb on everything else. So get at me. Fn herb in the building. Fuck yes, nigga sir. herb. That's his name. And uh. What track you want to start with, Herb? Uh, Deceived. Yeah, let me hit on something from the album. Let me hit on something from the album. Let's get it, man. Yeah, let's get it. I've been working so hard, getting money on me. I've been working so hard, getting money on me. I've been working so hard, getting money on me. I've been working. I've been working so hard, getting money on me. I've been working. I've been working so hard, getting money on me. I've been trapping, working hard, getting paid from the streets. Money, nigga, you ain't talking free. I see you niggas, I keep it on me. I'm here when I stand, cause I'm cold to the heat. I'm solid as fuck, yeah, I'm hard as some cleats. I'm all in the field, keep it hunted on me. Keep it hunted on me. Keep it hunted on me. Keep the rest on me. Yeah, yeah. Make them pay me a fee. I'm not doing shit for the free. I'm ballin' so hard, gotta stay on my feet. Pick up off the dribble and catch me a three. Got drugs on my body, I'm tryna stay clean. Remember when I'm nice, poppin' perch with a lean. Hey, girls all around me, they not wearing jeans. They wearing a Louis with heels and a skirt. I'm a young nigga, I came from the dirt. I'm tough as a rock, cause I put in some work. These niggas be hating, they want me on shirts. I keep me a toolie, I make sure it works. I'm ballin' so hard, got me ballin' like dirt. Step back from these niggas, I'm not from this earth. When I'm talking, I'm rapping, I'm doing these hoes, wanna know who I'm screwing. When I rap, I don't speak no violence. The fact they had watched me in college. Remember the nights I was all on my niggas. We talk about how class niggas stylish. And they had them girls who be wildin'. Go the door, I could say they don't mind it. I was going to class, couldn't find it. I guess the young niggas are trying. I was making this music, it found me. My friends say they like how it sounded. Playing back and they keep on rewinding. These niggas be capping. They ain't by that action. They, what? they say they got numbers, but well, I got some bullets that get to subtracting. I run at them hunters relaxing. You know that the reason I'm packing. You know that I gotta keep texting. I keep me a toolie, no lacking. Cause I'm in the sea. These niggas, they tied it on me. They was waiting on me just to sleep. They was waiting on me just to pee. I was up and I got me some cash. That nigga was running like flash. On a mission to take all my last. You can take all the weed and the cash, but one thing you can't is remake the bag. It's funny, I'm dying, I laugh. These niggas can remake the crap. Keep on moving, I'm chasing a bag. We doing some numbers, I'm not looking back. I'm not trying to relapse. Put a city all over the map. I ain't capping in none of my raps. No for killing and robbing, my niggas be body, we ain't got a cap. If a nigga won't smoke, you don't in that beef, and we pull up with Draco and Strap. I'ma have all my young niggas out of S-Fuck, we ain't giving a fuck nigga down. I'ma run at these hunters and buy them some guns, I'ma make sure some hoes in their lap. 
I remember the time I was fucking these bitches, recording and posting on Snap. I was young and making some moves in Parkway where we made a living from trap. I be wearing these diamonds and see me. I be chasing them diamonds in PVs. In my city, my niggas told TVs. I be having my cell on repeat. These niggas be capping, niggas be capping. They ain't by that action, they ain't by that action. They say they got numbers, well I got some bullets that get you subtracting. I run into them hundreds relaxing. You know that the reason I'm packing. You know that I gotta keep texting. I keep me a tool, ain't no lacking. Cause I'm in the sea. These niggas they plotted on me. They was waiting on me just to sleep. They was waiting on me just to pee. I was up and I got me some cash. That nigga was running like flash. On a mission to take all my last. You can take all the weed and the cash, but one thing you can't is remake the bag. It's funny, I'm dying a lot. Uh -huh. These niggas can't remake the crap. <laughs> Keep on moving, I'm chasing a bag. We doing some numbers, I'm not looking back. I'm not trying to relapse. Put Rick City all over the map. I ain't capping in none of my raps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's tough, Chris. Whoa, I ain't got, you know I ain't, going whoa that's tough, Herb. Yeah. <laughs> that's tough. This some unreleased shit, man. I ain't ready for this. Oh my God. Yeah, I need you to turn it up. This your last song for the night. Let's go. Give me lit. It's a lot of fuck niggas. This track hard too. Whoa, whoa. I can't, I can't fuck with these bitches and hoes. I never switch up on my bros. Oh. Gonna be up in their feelings. I'm trapping drug dealers. She like it. She take off her clothes. We fucking and nobody knows. She's like me. I'm curling my toes. I love bitches who dance on the pole. I be loving these hoes on the low. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah. wanna know she a hoe, just watch how she strike for a pose. If you wanna know she a hoe. I swear she gon' fuck on your bros. Bro. Yeah. Insecure demons. I don't know the meaning. She craving for attention to be loved. These hoes be fiending. Double cup, I'm leaning. I've been quarantining. Smoking on some good gas. Got me feeling like I'm dreaming. Niggas always hating. I'm getting fucking money. I ain't worried about no nigga. I'ma run it up. We up at the Tuli. We up at the Tuli. My niggas, we coming in ruthless. I got people to feed, I can't lose it. I've been working so hard, I can't lose it. BB dancing on me, they go stupid. These hoes love me, but I'm dodging Cupid. I can't fuck with these hoes, they so stupid. I be all on my soul to seclude it. Make these niggas know I couldn't do this. Now they bought them myself to include it. I've been running these chests, they get moving. I done caught me some guns, I been cooling. Come get in and blow, who you fooling? Yeah, these niggas be holding me some schooling. I can draw up some place, get the shooting. So these bitches be picking and choosing. Niggas sleep on me, probably was snoozing. Woke them up, but they thought I was losing. My producer told me stop abusing. All these just of my system be soothing. I swear trapping was never confusing. Ran it up, I'ma keep on pursuing. Could it be cut the check while we queuing? That F and Herb in the building, man. Get at me. Yo, thanks for coming out tonight. That was lit. You know I love. Good. What's up, my boy? Yo, I've been trying to get you for like two weeks. It's like, my fault. I can't say it's you. I about to say, <laughs> hey, I was available, my boy. Yo, man. Uh, you might want to screw it for your followers real quick and everything. Yeah, let me check in. Let's go. Look, let's shot. go. Man, I'm excited about this, man. Uh, this interview right here specifically because I've been hearing about you before I actually met you. Right. And uh, that's very unheard of. When it comes to finding out who the hottest artist is in your city or your surroundings. Yeah. So I will get my hair cut by a friend named Tyrone. Yeah. And be like, yo, man, I know you're DJing, but you gotta play my boy rap music. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, who, who, who is this? I keep hearing about this dude. Yeah. I'm chilling with a girl one night trying to get to know her, and she's talking about your music. I'm like, no disrespect. I'm like, damn, sure. Yeah. Like, you know, my name is DJ JB. Yeah, like, yeah. You gotta play his song. So finally, one day I'm like, yo, I'm getting a hiccup by Tom. Like, yo, let me get. Who is this rad dude? Let me see a picture of him. I start looking at Instagram. He plays one song, and instantly I'm like, yo, he's tough. You feel me? Yeah. So Appreciate it's that. good that you have that persona on people mm -hmm. before they even really know who you are. Yeah, it seems that yeah. way. It be happening like that too, bro. Yeah. Like, that should be crazy, bro. Like, yeah, I'm only telling you this because I feel like that happens with a lot of people that you don't really know from far. Mm -hmm. So it's good that it's, it's happening to someone around me in the same city as me. That For means sure. that if I'm thinking like that, another person's like, yo, he, you got that star potential. For sure, bro. So I appreciate that, bro. So keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So what, first question I want to ask you is, where are you from? I'm from Aiken, South Carolina, man. Aiken, Aiken. South Carolina. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah, Aiken. So a lot of artists are from Aiken. 
Mm-hmm. But a lot of them, do they, they don't really work together. That's something that I noticed. Right. Talking about, talking about from Aiken? Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, man. This shit. What's going on out there? What do you feel that you can help? Do you feel like you can help change that? I, I, maybe I can. It's a possibility yeah. for sure. Yeah. But you know, everybody want to be the one, and you but know, so like, much talent. It is, bro. Like, like I got music, so many friends from out there. I don't want to say one name, come and forget somebody. But it, yo, football. Yeah, hey, because I'm a ball you player. Play football so too. I, yeah, bro. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> yo, my boy think he'll all star. One time he put up a, a highlight. I think he threw like some bat far type. Yeah, man, real Patrick Mahomes shit. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what made you transition from football into music? So like I, I was doing music, football, all that shit, like high Wait, school, oh, all you've that. Been like, doing, you've been doing music yeah, in high like, school. Yeah, like so that's how it started, that's bro. Crazy. So like it started in high school, bro. I did a mixtape and brought them shit to school. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna answer your first question first. Yeah. So I transitioned after I tore my ACL. Yeah. When I went to Benedict, bro, right. I tore my ACL. And then after that, I kind of never just really got back into it. And then I just like, you know, music, that's my that's my love. So right. I kind of just really just put everything into that, you yeah. know. So that's really where the transition became. That's tough. Uh, one thing I always see you, even though you don't have a guitar with you right now, yeah. but you're always putting a guitar emoji. Yeah. Like, Whenever I think about rapping, oh, he about to put a guitar. Yeah, that shit so crazy. So where do you get that rock star? Like I want to be. Like where do you get that? And I'm still from? learning how to play that shit. Oh, for but, real? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, oh, yeah. man, I didn't know you were even trying to play a guitar. Oh yeah, I'm going through it, man. Don't worry. Give me, give me some time. So you're gonna I'm, be rapping in the guitar. I'm going crazy with it. Trust me. I don't want to say this, but I don't know if I've met a star or saw a star with a guitar and rapping. Like, make it, make it, like nah, bar. I'm, I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be him. That's that's tough. That's some. That, where you get that from? Where you get that mindset from? <laughs> Shit, like, right? when you just saw a guitar one day and say, "I want to pick it up and learn how to play it." Nah, hell nah, bro. Man, all this rock star shit, bro. I, I'm gonna I'm say, I'm, I'm gonna say it started coming from because I grew up on a lot of Wayne, right? Okay. So you, like, you telling the truth. Yeah. So like, I was on that Wayne heavy. So when <laughs> yeah. I seen him making all these transitions, like this was back when I was in high school. Like, right. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? That shit was real influential. Yeah. So. But um, it was already in me to be honest, cause the right. type of shit we was on, we been on that rock star type shit, like right. getting fucked up, going to school, like right. all the little females and shit, like yeah. fans of us, like you know what I'm saying, like we been on that type of shit. Right. So, <clears throat> let me ask you a question: What keeps you humble enough to do features with everybody? Cause I want you to know this: There's a lot of people who be like, "Yo, I'm not gonna do a feature. I'm too big to do a feature with yeah. this person." I see you doing a feature with all levels of artists. Yeah. I, I love that, man. Where do you get that from? Bro, because I just got the love of music. So, like, <clears throat> you can be you can be a major artist yeah. or you could be an underground artist. Trying you know what I'm saying? Head. But if I see you and I hear you and I'm <laughs> fucking with your shit, I don't care about, like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't care about all that. Like, if I see something in you and I'm fucking with it, right. like, fuck it, let's go. Like, I'm a real artist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, the, that's the difference between me and a lot of these niggas. Like, I'm a... I'm a real artist, yeah. bro. Like I don't do this shit for clout. You know what I'm saying? Money is good and all that, but I really don't do it specifically just for the money. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? I'm just a real artist, bro. I just love to create. I'm like a real inventor, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I see that. A major question. Oh, take your time real quick. A major yeah, man, question I got to ask you. A major question I got to ask you. Yes, this sir. last year was crazy. Mm-hmm. How has that helped you grow? <clears throat> uh... You mean as far as like just pandemic. everything I've been putting out? For, no, just... no. For some people, this pandemic has slowed oh, yeah. people down, yeah. or it's turned it made you turn up an extra notch. Um, yeah. In a way, I guess it slow it slowed us down from like just shows and shit like yeah. that. But um, shit, hell no. Nah. I just <laughs> got in my bag. Hell no. Nah. I'm like, well, <laughs> shit. I guess we just got a goddamn drop. We gotta get these folks some. Like, yeah, that's tough. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's all about them. Like, yeah. We gotta get these folks some. Like, we gotta go. So I like that. Yeah, 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 bro. Like that shit ain't nah. That shit ain't stopping too much of shit. You know what I'm saying? What should we look out coming out new from you? Um, I just dropped a single with my bro Merc, Pink, Pink Panther. Panther. <laughs> oh, man, we went crazy, bro. We did that shit in like, and it's so crazy. Yeah. We did it so fast, like, yeah. cause you know me and him, we don't write. We kind of you know punch Freak in, out, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. So, shit probably took bro like 20, 20 minutes. Like we was like <laughs> came out with this shit. I'm like, bro. This yeah, shit I, hard for I real. Saw your, I saw your Instagram story. I'm like, yo, this be hard. Hold on. I kept running back in 15 seconds. I'm like, yo, yeah, hold on. I think I did. I'm like, yo, I need that track. Yeah, man. <laughs> Shout out my boy Mike Stacks, man. That nigga go crazy with the beats, man. Yeah, Shout like, out to him. you love this music. Like, yeah, I yeah. love it. It's really hard to meet an artist that loves music. Right. Like, people love to rap, but you love music. I love music. Where does that come from, that background? I love just creating. I don't know. I, I think I, 
ever since I was young, I yeah. always just like creating new shit yeah. off the rip anyway. Yeah. When I was young, I, like, I just wanted to be an inventor before yeah. I even knew I liked making music. Yeah. So, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I learned I like making music. Like I said, I was listening to Wayne, bro. Right. Like I, I was seeing this shit. I'm like, damn, like this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just liked it, bro. Like, I just liked what he had going on. Yeah. And then once I put it into me and what I had going on with myself, I'm like, oh yeah, you a bad motherfucker, man. Where do you get this stage presence from? My bad, excuse me. The stage presence that you have is crazy. Like, I was watching you perform. I think Mulatto came down here. Mulatto. <laughs> Yo, you performed like it was a music video. I mean, like, you was in front of the DJ booth. You was like a rock star. <laughs> you was on the floor. Where do you get that energy from? Like, like, because yeah. people don't know. It's different to hear you, but to watch you. And when I was watching you do somebody's video, I felt like I wanted to be on the stage and hyped up too. Right. Hell Where do you yeah. get that from? That stage presence. Man, I get it from God, man. God just like, I don't know, bro. It's crazy. Like, even when I'm recording or yeah. doing anything. Are oh, you be music, jumping around going I, crazy? I, I feel like, I, I really <laughs> feel like it's just like, like I'm possessed in a way. Like, for real. For real? Like, bro, like, it's like I just, I don't know. I just tap into some other shit. Like, yeah. and the people fuel me. And no matter what I'm doing with the music, like, the people just, the people fuel me. Like, yeah. they fucking with it. I'm yeah. like, oh, y'all fucking with this shit. Like, Right. I like that. Turn me up. What does your music mean to you? Like, like, did it save you? Like, do you feel like it's something that makes you just wake up every day and be happy? Like, what does yeah, music yeah. mean to you? Because if it wasn't for music, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't know what the fuck. Like, yeah. <laughs> I really don't know what I'd be doing. Like, I'm pretty sure I'd be doing something. Yeah. But to me, like, I don't know music. Like, that shit can that shit save lives. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. It do so much for people, and it it just it been so many times where I done been fucked up, bro. Right. And just certain songs just got me right, like <laughs> yeah. and put me in my zone where I needed to get, like, bro. Music just do so much for the world, like, and I and I and I, I'm aware of that, you know what I'm saying, like, and I don't know, it just it made me feel good knowing that I can make somebody feel good off of my shit. So you know, man, I know I'm supposed to be action questions, but one thing I want to say to you, man, just keep the the heart that you got, man, out here. It's very hard to meet artists that who get a small platform sometimes, and they just be like, oh, I'm too good for that. And I say this because I see you on not just this show. You're on my friend Lowe's show. You're coming out to the uh, Next to Blow show, being a judge. And sometimes people might have the mindset like, oh, I can, how do I look doing this? They're going to have to give me a bag. But I want you to know, people who look up to you and they see that. There's two girls that came to that, that show DM me asking about you. And I give me your Instagram, and they're like, oh, he's so dope. Like, yeah. it's not like they got a crush on you. It's like, I want to listen to his music. Yeah, for sure. no. yeah, and that's that's a genuine thing that you need to keep. Yeah. A lot of people don't do things genuinely. They do things right. looking for something back. Right. And, and I think that's, that's like, one of the problems with, like, South Carolina history with yeah. music. So it would be crazy for me growing up to see this shit. And I and I'm like, damn, this is the reason why we like this. And then when I get in position <laughs> and I'm acting thing? like them, yeah. it's just gonna keep doing it. So shit, somebody gotta goddamn stop it. Yeah. And if you know what I'm saying, I'm just being me anyway, but you know, like <laughs> it gotta stop. It gotta start somewhere. Shit. Back, so the you, rock star got gotta do it and I do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So how far do you see yourself going? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I feel like I feel like I can tap into the whole world. Like I like that. I feel like cause Africa, shit, different countries. Yeah, yeah. Cause just being here, like <laughs> just being here in America, people yeah. with all kind of ethnicities and sizes and races, I, 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 everything. Like yeah. I just see how how it work here. So it's like shit. People all over. Like anybody can connect to this shit. Like so, that's the tough. sky's the limit. Yeah. Uh, how do you brand yourself? Do you have a team that's helping you network? Like <clears throat> not just networking, like shows, putting posters out there of you and everything. Like. Yeah, well, it, I mean, well, it's a little different, I guess, now because of this pandemic shit. But right. um, um, yeah, I got I, well. Right now, I'm signed on an independent label. Oh, yeah, Illis Illis Records. So, yep. Um, yeah, we do promotion with 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 them, and and we kind of just do our own thing. Whether it's just getting our face out, man, whatever it, you know, whatever it is. But yeah. we plan on doing a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask you another major question before we get into your performance. What do you like more, the recording process? All the after process of everyone hearing your music. That's tough, cause like, I really enjoy making music, but I probably would say the people, like yeah. seeing the people reaction, like, oh yeah, like <laughs> that let me know, cause I can like some shit and yeah. then like I put that shit out and they be like, uh, oh, I can really not even like them too much and then like I put it out, 
You know what I'm saying? And then they 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 fuck with it. So uh, I say, man, seeing the people reaction, bro, because that's really what fueled me. You know keeps, what I'm saying? Keeps you going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people, like bro. There's been times where I wanted to quit this shit, bro. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you got people telling you you up next, you this and that, and then you seeing people blow off of TikToks and all kind of <laughs> shit, bro. Yo, man. You know what I'm saying? That shit can, you know. But you know what's crazy, bro? I, literally yesterday, I was thinking about that. Like. People can make a song today, put it on TikTok, and next thing you know, the whole world is dancing to that one song. Yeah, yeah. But you have like a whole catalog of 20, yeah, not 20, but like probably more than 20 songs, good yeah. songs, and you're like, damn. But it's cool, because I don't hate it, and it should be fire. Like, I yeah. fuck with shit for what it is, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, you know, you can easily, that shit can fuck with you yeah. if you ain't mentally. But one thing I would tell you, man, is when your music keeps being good and good and good, they have no choice but to keep rocking with you. Right. Because some of these people just got one song out there. Yeah. They can't come back like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Because they it might be automatic success too yeah. fast for them. And for sure. And, and you know Blue going to come back. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> let them know back. where they can follow you at before I go over there. Man, y'all can follow me on everything at Rad Blue Bills, man. That's R-A-D-B-L-U-E-B-I-L-L-Z. That's Blue Bills with a Z at the end, man. Don't forget that, man. The illest, really is fucking rock stuff, man. Let's go. Rad Blue in the building. Hey, this is my first time performing this shit, too. Oh, yeah, that's a fact. Hold on, let me take my fucking jacket off. Hold on, man. Let me get it right, cuz. Let's get it. Let me get it right, JB. Take your time. Turn me up. Yeah. You last performer tonight. Let's get it. Get, get. Damn. Hold on, Steve Man first. Let me go Steve Man first. Yeah. Let me go Stevie. Stack that bitch up, Mike. Let me go Stevie. Whoa. Yo. Like stacks. Hey, Let's go. Bills. I, I mix nation, nation for real. real. Shout out to my boy. I mix nation yeah. for real. Um, had to clean me up cause I got everything out of the mud. I was broke as a bitch, I would get to the money, but fuck it, it is what it was. Had to make shit shake, yeah, like a motherfucking rug. I was stuck in the yard, I was trying to record. I didn't wanna go to the club. My stack gon' stack me up. Get cash, I stack it up. I just run the laps around these rappers, ain't no catching up. Yeah, yeah. That's that boy straight out of that pack, you know I dressed it up. Ain't tryna chill, ain't tryna smoke, ain't tryna match it up. Yeah, Whoa. ooh, just like Kawhi, you know I'ma shoot. I'm going up like a motherfucking roof. Bitch, I'm a god in the bill like I'm Zeus. No, I ain't riding to hide in the booth. Yes. Deep bitches know they're messy. No ice cream, made a one on the scoop. Shooting that nigga like front line troop. Yeah, I'm balling on the nigga like I'm Jack. Yeah, with the yeah. Who you wanna be like, yeah? Only say, yeah, I got a green light. Let's like, go. Yeah. Me and Ty like a DJ, yeah. Yeah, I'm running shit like a relay, yeah. Uh -huh. I got standing on 10. I meet you, punch me in. And the nigga I mix that fuck you. Woo! And the fuck you, now you're kidding. Real boss, now that I'm checking. Got drugs in the match. You the fuck nigga with the wretch. Find out if I'm capping. Yeah. I'm a rock star licking my fashion. Hit him at the red light, then mash it. These niggas, they pumps like ash. Yeah, long hair on the bitch, these nash. Turn me up a little bit. Arguments with my baby mama Dropped out of college But I like mathematics Focus on the commas All that hating shit It got me rolling Like I work at Sunday. My daddy left when I was six I was raised by my mama The hardest working in this state Still don't get acknowledged I'm going dumb off in the booth Like I ain't got no knowledge I'm taking each up Bit like I'm on my body Those times I was all alone Feel like I ain't had nobody Lately I've been switching it up Yeah let's get versatile They like it when I take it deep And I get personal 
These niggas that cross you by some cash and I'm the same person, dog. Yeah, not for me, that's my family, yeah, that's first of all Play by the guys, you get popped just like some Tylenol You ever cross me, you can bounce just like a basketball I'm a real rock star from outer space, I just seen an astronaut Keep all my problems to myself, there's something I don't talk about They telling me I need to vent, I need to talk about it Come for my family, that be the time I go and catch a body I'm a real rock star, never been no hoe, better go and ask about me These niggas, they care for the net, these niggas, they pussy fight Closing us out. Yeah, man. We're rusty. We see y'all next Thursday. Thank you for tuning in. Eight o'clock next Thursday. Oh, yeah. Let's go.